good morning children hope all of you are safe at home we know that the whole world is undergoing such a crucial menace that we cannot eradicate the only thing that we can do is be alert be confident we will overcome even the education sector is under the clutches the government has already start up some virtual classes all of you are watching and enjoying it today i am here just to fill the gap first of all let me introduce the text before you this is the text of plus 2 english and it comprises only five blocks as in the previous year each block has a common theme a common message to convey there are different literature genres like essays short stories anecdotes etc are described in it the syllabus is very simple and rather down to earth and there are many common day to day life issues are discussed in it so shall we go yes the first chapter of the first block the three ills of empowerment is a persuasive speech by christine lagarde what do you mean by persuasive yes it means something to persuade okay so let's have a quick look on the profile of christine lagarde here is the profile christine lagarde is born in paris on 1st january 1956 She is the first woman finance minister of G8 economy and she headed IMF International Monetary Fund. Okay. And in this speech Priscilla Lagarde points out that women are facing a lot of problems in the society. Hence they cannot contribute much to the economy of a nation. Though they are having 50% of the population they cannot contribute their own and christine lagarde herself gives us a solution for the problem the solution is the three l's of women empowerment can you say which are the three l's yes the first one is learning then labor and leadership these are the three l's of empowerment now let us discuss these three l's in detail so the first l learning learning simply means education can you give me the definition for education yes it's an all round development or it's a foundation upon which all the positive change is built for example the teachers are taking virtual classes it's a positive change isn't it and there is another good example in front of us yes the life of sridhanya suresh we know that she hails from a very poor background but she is able to attain high status even in indian administrative service it means that nothing is impossible if you have a will you are able to attain that aim you are able to attain your aim and the first paragraph concludes with an african adage what do you mean by adage adage means a saying or a proverb and the adage goes like this if you educate a boy you train a man if you educate a girl you train a village so the far reaching impact of women education is cleared from this saying it emphasizes the importance of women education than men education so let's move to the second l the second step of the ladder that is labor what do you mean by labor yes labor means job or opportunity in front of you even in workplace women are facing a lot of problems a lot of barriers can you say what may be the barriers faced by women yes low wages low status low security problem and there are uh, gender discrimination man woman discrimination so our motto should be equal pay for equal job even the government is providing a supportive hand the government is providing different policies like health care policies educational policies there are scholarships to enhance women empowerment okay so that is about labor now let's move to the last but not least l that is leadership leadership means it's the ability to lead or ability to guide 
we know there are many women who are having innate talents innate abilities within them but they lack confidence they lack the confidence to meet their potentials to meet their competence okay there are exceptional case let's have a list of uh, successful women from various fields here is the list now let's take the example of kalpana chawla all of you know she was from a very orthodox family and uh, during her college days she faced a lot of problems her family friends relatives everyone discouraged her to select such a rare topic that is aeronautical engineering but she was very bold she was bold enough to raise her voice she asked if men can why can't i so her boldness her will power led her to the goal but unfortunately on a space mission accident we lost her life and if women provided an opportunity they would do a better job can you say how yes can you say why yes women are having a lot of positive qualities within them like they are compassionate in nature and they can bring people together they can put people in agreement okay so with all these qualities they are able to lead a nation lead an institution whatever it is they are good leaders okay and recently we have another example in front of us that is george floyd we know the black man who is brutally murdered by a white british officer and there are many processions there are many people raise their voice irrespective of caste color creed and gender it proves that they are ready to come out of the comfort zone they are ready to raise their voice against injustices and it echoes the voice the words of uh, dr apj abdul kalam and don't you remember the speech i will fly yes in that speech kalam recited a poem titled i will fly don't you remember it yeah what is the message of that poem yes if you have wings you should fly if you have any talents you should exhibit it you should explore your potentialities okay so that's a message he says that you should try to be unique in your own way so that's the message of that poem and here the speech in this speech christine lagarde concludes the speech with an inspiring or with an with a motivational statement that is if you dare the difference the difference will deliver what's the meaning of it yeah if you are ready to face the challenge it will really surely reflect in your life so thank you i hope you understood these three points uh, if you have any doubt please contact me